This is Nokia C12 and today I would like to demonstrate how you can set up parental controls on this device. So to start you will need to launch settings, then find and enter the accounts category or passwords and accounts to be precise and in here make sure to remove all Google accounts that you have if you have any to begin with. Now get back to the main settings page, enter the Google category this time. Onwards, you gotta tap at the parental controls option, get started, child or teenager, next. Now you will need to sign into your child's Google account or create one if you have, haven't have got any account you can use. I do happen to have the Google account I can log into and use for my child, so let me quickly do that. So at this point there's nothing really um, complicated or comprehensive we just gotta log into Google account as you would normally do uh, in any other scenario so enter credentials then agree on all the terms so set up your backup preferences accept Google services and what's not onwards once the account is successfully logged into select it from the list over here and after that you will need to enter another credentials for another Google account but this time for the one that you are going to use as a parent to supervise your child so now we are signing into the parental Google account. Once you've done that, you will be forwarded to the About Supervision page, at which you will once again uh, need to enter or input the child's Google account password. Then tap at the Agree button then the dialog window will follow, which you will need to tap and allow on. And now simply wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. After this step is completed, hit the next button. Uh, at this point you can enable, uh, I mean disable some of the apps you don't want your child to have an access to, but you will also be able to do that later on, so there's no need to stop uh, on this step, at least currently. So, But if you please, you can just go ahead and turn off some of the apps that uh, are already installed on your child's phone. And at this point, if the device that is written over here is the same phone or tablet you will use to supervise your child, you can tap at this button, install family link, and the required app will get automatically downloaded and installed on your parental phone. If not, or you just prefer to do this manually, you can skip the step, the setup will be finished, and simply take your phone as a parent and download and install the free family link app by Google from the Play Store. I do happen uh, to have the correct uh, device over there so I'll just go for the automatic way so as you can see on my other phone the Google Family Link app installation or download process was automatically started now let's uh, I, I'm going to wait for it to finish here is the app as you can see all set at the child's end more or less so in here it is important to sign in with the parental Google account and then in the app itself, you have an access to all sorts of controls. Uh, so you can set up the daily usage limits for your child's device or downtime routine, uh, completely tailor your child's app experience and manage all the apps in all the possible ways you can imagine, as well as monitor your child's app activity, apply content restrictions and age filters for certain, certain apps, configure your child's Google account settings, uh, manage devices if you have multiple uh, added to your family that you control. Then you can monitor your child's live location if you will grant an uh, location access at the child's phone and see the child's device usage highlights. 
Alrighty, so I guess that would be it as far as setting up parental controls on this device goes. We highly appreciate your attention guys, thanks for watching and bye bye.